Hi guys, MJ here and welcome to the next movie on the channel. And today we are going to take a small night themed photo walk through the rainy streets of Poznan. I think that's the perfect time to take out my dear Mamiya RZ67 which is laying on the shelf behind me. I will place a new battery inside and let's hit the town. We will be using a Sinestil 800T. T for tungsten. But what the hell is it? Okay, so let's take a look and have a small theory lesson. Uh, so let's take a look and compare tungsten balanced film to, I think, the most popular. Yep, that's better. Let's compare tungsten film to the most popular and I think well known for everyone daylight balanced film. In daylight balanced film we can put for example uh, Portra, Gold, Superior and a Color Plus. In tungsten balanced film we can put 800T, Vision 3 and Ektachrome? Really? Yes. Ektachrome 64T. If you look, you can still find it somewhere on eBay. Daylight films are able to illustrate and the accurate colors in light in temperature between 4600 to 5500. Tungsten in 3200 to 3600. We are talking about Kelvins, of course. So basically, when you're choosing your film stock, that's the most important thing you should know. And here are some samples, just for your photographic memory. And the light samples, too. Yep, that's better. Okay, end of theory lessons. Let's hit the town. I invited Adam and his Yashika, of course, to join us. Enjoy! gonna finish the film first. Adam 2, Matthew 0. Remember I got 10 shots to, to go and here 12. Oh, oh right. we are now oh, at so the we're same the same. Place. We're <laughs> the same now, yeah. <laughs> Straight to the portfolio. This shot? Yep, this shot is going straight to the portfolio, man. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I think I found King Rocket's hideout. I think this is the longest analog exposure of my life. I hope this shot will be worth it. 70 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go! Yeah, and I almost forget to mention the heliations, which are those red spots around the strong source of light. This is the effect caused by a light going through the emulsion layer of film. This is a typical for the motion picture films like 800T because it doesn't have the backing and the heliation layer. It's been removed to process those films in C41 process. This shot can be amazing. I don't know what Cines 2 will do with it, but what do you think? I think it's a banger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where is it? Yeah. Okay, we ain't talking much in this episode but we are having a great time. It's been now, how long? Uh, two hours and 20 minutes of our night walk. And it's a, such a great experience. The weather ain't the best, but the conditions are really good, I think, for night photography. Uh, I'm still thinking what uh, Sinestil 800T brings to us, but I have a great, about it. Yeah, so that's it. We got, uh, I got two sh two more shots left. Adam, Ooh, I lost my stupka. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, another shitty quality video, but we found it. We just a uh, few steps back from here, so yeah, it was the quickest found in my life, I think. I really like comparing our shots together because we are pushing films to the different boundaries of it. Don't try this at home. This ain't a good and safe tripod setting for the big RZ67 to take this shot. Here's Adam taking his last shot of me. Here are some random people on the crossing and I hope I will capture those three red lights on one shot. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here, for joining us on our next photo walk. Uh, yeah, it's still amazing for me that so many of you are watching those videos. It, I really appreciate it. It just keeps me motivated not only in making videos, but in taking more pictures too. So once again, thank you very much. If you want to be up to date with the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell and do whatever you want to do about those crazy things around the channel to be up to date. 
and uh, receive notifications. And once again, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Take care.